Welcome into Citrus TV, I'm Jesse Cook. Today is Monday, October 10th, and this is Citrus TV Now. It's currently 56 degrees and sunny here in Syracuse. Here's what you need to know. The information security team is recruiting students to join the CyberStart launch party. CyberStart is an online game where students can learn more about the cybersecurity profession. The event will take place in Falk Room 100 on Friday, October 14th from 2.30 to 4.30. And, in the, and the ITS team will provide free pizza for all attendees. To RSVP, visit the Syracuse website. SU Professor Shikha Nanjia at the College of Engineering and Computer Science has been awarded two national grants. One for the National Institute of Health Enhancing Science, Technology, Engineering and Math Educational Diversity, and the other for Learning and Discovery through Engineering Research at Syracuse. The grants will work towards recruiting and training undergraduates for the Bioengineering and Research Program, choosing from a cast of people of diverse backgrounds. The city of Syracuse is hosting its 19th annual International Film Festival from Wednesday through Saturday. The festival will take place in five different locations in the city, showcasing 33 films from around the country and around the world. To buy tickets, visit the Syracuse International Film Festival website. Dozens of Syracuse residents gathered around the Christopher Columbus statue today. Mayor Ben Walsh and the indigenous community are trying to find a way to move the controversial monument and replace it with one that recognized people of all backgrounds. Although the city of Syracuse is moving forward with an appeal for the removal of the statue, some residents are arguing it is part of their Italian heritage. Gas prices in central New York are once again on the rise. Prices increased to 12, increased 12 cents last week and 70 cents since this time last year. The gas in central New York is lower than the state and national average. Gas prices are rising nationally because of the increase in demand and the organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries Initiative to cut crude oil production. And a famous con artist is facing trouble with U.S. immigration authorities. Stay tuned. Look at you. You're at the top of your game. You're unstoppable. Nothing can throw you off track. Wait, is that your car? Uh-oh. Yeah, I saw that coming. That will throw you off track. You're looking at around 10 grand in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Let's try this again. Smart move. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Welcome back to Citrus TV Now. Famous con artist Anna Sorokin is facing deportation from the U.S. after being released from prison on Friday. Immigration authorities are arguing that she has overstayed her visa and must return to her home country of Germany. The convicted con artist is currently under house arrest and equipped with an ankle monitor while deportation battles are being sorted. And in Eastern Europe, a wave of missile strikes hit Ukraine today. One of the many strikes across the nation hit the city center of Kiev. Nationwide, at least 11 people were killed and 89 injured. In a televised address, Russian Premier Vladimir Putin stated that the strikes were fired in response to the explosion on a key bridge connecting Russia to the Crimean Peninsula. Some cities are left with no power or electricity. The European Union will host a virtual summit with seven nations to discuss the developments in Ukraine on Tuesday. Now back in the States, skies are looking a little bit sunnier, so we've got Ronnie Perlo in studio to tell you what's on the forecast ahead. Well, Jesse, if you could paint the picture of an ideal fall day, it would be today here in Syracuse. Right now, looking at temperatures in the mid-50s outside and throughout central New York, that's the same story. Sunny skies, dry and comfortable. So if you want to take advantage of the rest of the afternoon, I would highly recommend doing that. Tonight, temperatures are going to take a little bit of a tumble, falling to about 40 degrees here in the Salt City but really nothing in the way of rain or precipitation. And that three day forecast just looking even better, especially for Tuesday and Wednesday sunny skies, highs in the upper 60s. Just a beautiful day to uh, get outside, apple picking, pumpkin picking, really whatever um, you wanna do and make it this season. There's so much to do here in the fall, I feel like, and uh, people really ought to step outside and take advantage of it. Ron, you gonna throw a frisbee or something like that? Absolutely, frolic in the grass. Well, besides apple picking, coming up on News Live at 6, Tegan Brown is going live for Indigenous Peoples Day. And that's all the time we have for you today on Citrus TV Now. For more of the latest, follow us at Citrus TV News on Twitter or check out our website at CitrusTV.com. I'm Jesse Cook. That's Ronnie Perillo. If you're not too busy apple picking or throwing a Frisbee, have a great evening, Syracuse.